Vinod? Yep. So nice to meet you here in uh, Thank you, same here, Martin. Great Noida. We have been connected on LinkedIn for some time. Yeah. And then I met you at Print 18 in Chicago. And Everywhere, most of the time, like, you know, uh, I, I, I just reach you or, you know, if you need information, people connect through LinkedIn or, you know, social media. Yeah. That's the easiest way today you to get connected. Yeah, yeah, it's right. And um, we, this is my, I think, my third or fourth time I'm actually at Printpack, but this is the first time I'm here as Inkish. And um, it was a great pleasure that you have time to talk to me because it, one of the things that I'm quite interested in knowing is, is uh, you are working for APTEC or Association for Print Technologies in the US, but you're actually based here in, in India. Generally, um, earlier it was called NPES. Uh, it was members only from Machine Manufacturer Association. What do you have in India like IPAMA? So we wanted to... So IPAMA and NPS is similar in a way? It's, it's a similar. Yeah. Um, we try to help American companies to do business in India because a lot of companies are smaller and um, they don't want to you know, invest too much of money and time. They can't leave the business outside and come all the way here because coming here is 22 hours flight, it's long. And they don't know exactly whom to contact. I was, I was just about to say that you say that it's uh, for the smaller businesses not just to get here, but I think that as we spoke of, uh, about just before, yep. it's like uh, the culture is different here, the business culture is different Lo here. A lot the of countries. So huge! I mean, uh, can't imagine how many people lives here. You said to me there was like 250,000 printing companies in India. Yeah, you have more than more than I would say, like 250,000 printers, and it's growing. Especially the newspaper newspaper market is still growing. It's strong. Um, if you just say print, you must have seen the, in this print pack show how many exhibitors. Oh, yeah. More than you know. Um, Earlier it was 400 plus, now it's 500 plus. That itself shows the growth of the market actually, how it's growing. So the potential is huge here. The problem is like, you know, we need to find out new innovation if we want to grow also. We can't do the same business. What do you, that's, that's where um, even the local manufacturers are trying to connect with the international companies actually. So the, and yeah, also, yeah, that's, that's yeah and, and also like, you know, uh, U.S. company has a lot of research work has done on uh, inkjet technology, on the offset, digital, uh, and also like you know they've been doing very good. So, but the problem there is like you know some of the small companies don't know how to get into the business. What they see in the movies or somewhere, it's totally different when they come here. They say you know it's totally different what I've seen, what I heard what I, you know, emailed with exchange, all that. But when I met those companies and I saw the facility and what the equipment they have, the latest, like, you know, mm. a lot of companies are doing export, mm. especially pharmaceutical. Packaging is growing. Packaging is huge here. So some of the companies in the U.S. or outside, like, you know, they're trying to expand business. If they want to survive, in the U.S. market today, they have to go, go yeah. out and do business. That's what yeah. we tell them, like, you know, you need to come to India. Yeah. You have to go to other places like Philippines, Vietnam, uh, Dubai, all these places. You have to go and meet the person and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. Actually. I was, I've been in India like seven, eight times. So, I, yeah. of course, I don't know anything about India, but I have a flavor of it, I would say. And uh, one of the things that I'm, I'm curious about, because, I mean, when I get here, I get from a small country and I actually feel very humble when I get here right. because I find that uh, the contribution to the world global culture that Indians have brought to, I mean, you, are, uh, you have brought a lot of things to the world uh, also. Uh, yeah. Nice food, uh, nice smiling faces and a very uh, open and kind culture, which I think is really nice. And I was just wondering if if we from the West, I would say, or Americans come uh, through you to the Indian market, is it, 
is it easy to get accepted and get into the market or is it a long learning process for, in your opinion? Earlier it was very difficult. Uh, as I told you, like, you know, it was very difficult for people uh, if they come alone directly and they don't know whom to contact exactly like you know well and if you say um, I, I'm just looking for a dealer in India and uh, it might take long and you have to reach to the right pe people actually a right um, dealer whether th that guy has the potential for you know doing your your product you know properly and selling it properly and that's why we pay, play a key role there yeah I mean, because we, we, we just tell you the whole thing yeah. about uh, the company, whether this, this company can do it uh, justice or not. I mean, you are like a two-man army in a, in a 1.3 billion population here. So I guess that, I mean, you, you, so, you told me also that AP Tech is working together with some other organizations here in India, right? We closely work with all the uh, major associations in India and also closely work with the uh, government officials uh, in printing as well as we closely work with the uh, US commercial department for this and uh, we try to help uh, Indian printers also uh, that's but, that, one but does that mean when you say helping them does that mean that that if let's say that I, I'm an American manufacturer of uh, some uh, uh, machines for example and I want to get a distribution in India are you the one that you you will be contacting the potential interested in India or is it your partners here or how do you do it in I mean both ways can you give uh, an example it, on how it actually it's, works it's both ways like you know sometimes what happens like uh, if the member company met them directly somewhere in Drupa ah, or some oh, other okay, or yeah. in print or in other shows they were they must have got connected but they don't know whether this guy is a reliable person so we play a key role we know the market and everyone here so we give them the feedback uh, you know yes this person is like you know doing this business for so many years and he's a very reliable person so all that we do it for you so which is like you know which gives you everything that easy is, make it easy for you more yeah, yeah. But that that is an amazing uh, offering that you're offering the American uh, do you think I mean because I'm not American and I want to get into India so do you do, is there other organizations like AP Tech that works for like Chinese or Japanese or whatever? yeah we have an office in China yeah but I was thinking the other way around you are you're that like the AP Tech here in India is mm -hmm. there also like a Japanese organization a Chinese organization supporting their industry um, Japanese organization I never heard in India like okay. you know especially for the printing side for, for American printing business yeah. uh, through US commercial service grant we just opened this and we've been doing l very successfully even the commercial department you know told us it's like you know the number of American companies doing business now from like last 14-15 uh, years has been increased actually you know what you have uh, you've been with AP Tech for 14 years yes I guess that a lot of American companies have a lot of things to thank you for right that I, I won't say because you know you need to get directly from them that would be you know good thing like you know yes till now uh, whoever comes to India especially through trade mission uh, member companies they are really really happy because yeah. they understand what they you know take it back when they uh, you know return because they save time money and they meet the right people the decision makers so which is all and you know very good thing i would say yeah, easy yeah. it makes very easy yeah and this uh, this time i saw your booth and i visited you the first day i was here yeah you have some of your american colleagues coming for the first time to uh, print pack india yes i think that's nice because as they get the flavor too right <laughs> Yeah, I always tell them like, you know, I can say anything like about India, it's big, it's small, but once you come here, meet them in person and talk to them, you really, really understand what I'm saying, how, what potential this market has for you or, you know, to do business. Then you can decide. That's what I, I tell members, don't come for first business. First, understand the culture, yeah. and which is very important. And doing business in India is totally different what you're doing outside. Yeah. Because 
here if I want to do business uh, in Delhi, if I hire somebody, the local guy, it's easy, you know, for selling. He speaks the local language. The same way if you go to Chennai, he will speak the different language, Tamil, and he can sell it very easily. So all that they can understand. Yeah. It's like, you know, if I'm in France, I speak to you in French, selling it I wouldn't more understand anything, but <laughs> I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I know. But in, here in India, you have like many, many, many languages, right? A lot of languages. Yeah. Yeah. It's a thousand the, languages. The main uh, is like, you know, everybody understands English and, yeah. and Hindi. the key, key uh, is like, you know, Hindi. Everybody yeah. understands Hindi, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Hindi is the main language here? Hindi, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have like, I know for example, I've been in Gujarat, so then you have Gujarati. Gujarati, yeah. yeah. And you have like for every state or is it even more co complex than that? But everybody speaks today and understands English. Okay. So, okay. which is more, yeah. If you, if you just if, see... But you say everybody speaks and understands English, but that is when you come to the business, right? Because if you go in the streets, there's a lot of people that actually don't understand English, right? You're right. Yeah. That's true. So that, that is, so when you say that everybody understands English, that it means that if I as a company want to get involved in India, Mm -hmm. then I can expect that most on the business level they understand English. So that, that's why we also tell like you know first before coming to India find a local dealer where you save a lot of cost also rather investing directly it depends upon the size of the company you, but the thing is that the key would be like you know finding the right dealer that's where we play a key role in India that's yeah. why we are here yeah. we try to find you the right potential um, dealer distributors in India, which is, we, you save a lot of time. Yeah. So what do you think of your work? Every day I learn because, you know, I meet printers, packaging guys, different things, you know, uh, every member is like, you know, different with the different products and I learn when I talk to them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Every day they ask me for information to help them. I need to have that knowledge. so. It's an interesting job actually. Yeah. It's a learning for me too and yeah. also for them too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's they're understanding the market through me. I have to be very careful what I do. Yeah, actually. because you're balancing yeah. it yes. because I mean you cannot favorize any right. specific or somebody else because that's you have to be kind of neutral in that yes. in that respect. And uh, if you want to use the services of uh, AP Tech here, is it does is the only requirement to be a member of AP Tech in the US? Now it's open for everybody. Like you know, a dealer can be also a From member. From anywhere in the world. Anybody in the world, oh, like okay. you know, so it's open. Uh, only thing is that, like you know, they can't serve on the board um, of a Epitac. So the printers can get a lot of advantage on the research studies, and they can do a lot of, you know, if they want some information, we have a strong on the, uh, in the standards and all that. Because a lot of printers are uh, exporting now. Yeah, uh, the quality of print has gone so high. Yeah. A lot of printers ask me, like you know, uh, what all it's required, like you know, for the foreign companies, what should we do to do export yeah. to grow our business too. So we also help them through our member companies. Yeah, these are the requirements and all that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that seems that uh, it's a good. It's a very good idea to become a member of APTEC because, I mean, just the few things that we have been talking all this uh, yeah. past uh, 20 minutes is uh, it's really exciting for me because I, you know, first of all, I would say that getting an understanding of the size of the market is one thing because yep. I think that f for any market, it's like you are in a 250,000 plus printing companies as potential customers. You are in a market where you're actually positive and, and you're growing in yes. almost all segments, all right? Yeah. You have an economy that is growing. Uh, yeah. You have, a, I think you have, I mean, people sometimes forget, but you're the world's largest democracy. Uh, yeah. You have, I mean, you have so many things to offer. And then, and then after understanding the potential of the market, now I also get the appreciation that AP Tech is the one that can help you as a company going forward in this exciting market. Yeah, the reason is like, you know, we, we are connected with the government officials and all the local association guys, so, you, so it's you more make, easy you, you and also... the politicians also? Uh, no, I don't get into that side, but still like, you know, it's... <laughs> I, I, e I didn't talk today. about anything illegal, I was just talking yeah. about talking to the politicians, right? <laughs> yes, we, we talk to politicians also, yeah. we're connected with the ministry and yeah. all that. But uh, what I'm saying, this government has made it more easy 
for example, like, you know, getting visas. Yeah, because when I asked you getting the visa, because I normally when I've been in India before, hours of waiting in the Indian embassy, but that was like, yeah. It was as easy as going to the U.S. now, so that was uh, it's, it's awesome. all you All you need to just scan and give your passport, friend, yeah. copy of your yeah. passport, yeah. and uh, just your business card. Yeah. And the processing time is so less, it's just three days. Yeah, I Earlier, I, I, I know a lot of my actually, member yeah. companies, like, you know, if, you know, like, you know, getting there, it's so yeah. painful, yeah. like, yeah. you know, so many processes are there. Yeah. So now it's, they made it very easy. And yeah. if you just see the last uh, five years, there are so many foreign companies that are doing yeah. business here. Sen so and so uh, India easing up on getting to India has actually made a tremendous impact positively on India, I guess. Yes, it, it is yeah. positive. So yeah. is that also, I mean, uh, I think a lot, I, I know of course in all political issues that you have two sides, but I think that Modi, after he became prime minister in India, I think he has done a lot of changes to society that a lot of people in the business industry find very positive, right? Yeah, he had some new ideas for yeah. you know small business people, yeah. and also he changed a lot of things. Uh, plus and minus are there, Always you know. Like that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you can hear both, actually. Yeah, I would yeah. say, but he tried to make it more easy to do business. And that was I didn't want to especially for the foreign companies. Yeah. Yes. I was not talking about political discussion. I was just more thinking of that that openness that you see in the Indian society also from foreigners who come in. I, I just thought that that is something that came with the new administration and that is something that benefits business both in India and outside, right? Uh, De definitely, yeah, yes. Yeah. I would say like, you know. You know, um, I really appreciate uh, that you took the time to talk to me. Uh, I think it's really nice to meet you in person again. Thank you. Thank you, so, Martin. Thank Always a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. Yeah.